shading left or is it it's just it's just gone left and wide 2-8 for Gordon 1-8 for the village Martin Carey preparing to puck out the game has adopted the same pattern as the last day Gordon with a big lead the village whittling it down in the second half Pass Farrell sends that ball and DJ comes out to meet it. It never reached him. Shane Dye leads for Liam O'Connor. He's robbed. The referee blows and gives the free to James Stevens. Jim Fitzgerald, number 10, having his name taken by the referee. Philly Larkin going back to take the free. 55 metres out from his own goal. So Philly Larkin with the free, gives it all he has. Tailing right and it's gone wide. So Gordon still a goal ahead. And just over 12 minutes left. Gordon need a couple of free, a couple of scores, I think, just to settle themselves down. They've only scored a point in the second half. Here's Martin Carey's puck. Nemo Connor underneath this one, doesn't get to it. James Fitzgerald leaves it back. Brian Farron misses it. Peter Barry leaves it behind. Liam Smith drives it into the centre. Oh, nicely taken by Brian McAvoy. And nicely hooked by Kieran Phelan. McAvoy goes back. Being held up. Wins the free. Free for James Stevens. Three points between the teams. Richie Minogue, an awkward enough angle, but a very accurate free taker is Richie. 20 metres out. About eight metres in from this sideline. So Richie Minogue with this free, sends it in and sends it over the bar. Another point for James Stevens. Two points now between the teams. Dick O'Neill and Kevin Fenley, two of the Gordon selectors, having a, a serious talk on the line. Down there, will Kevin make an appearance? He has the cap off anyway. Here come Gordon, the ball has gone over the sideline though. Sideline ball for James Stevens, number two, Malcolm Murphy to take it. Jack Carey couldn't keep in that ball in. And Tobias White, number four now going over to take it. The village back in the game in a big way now, just two points between the teams. 2-8 to 1-9. 20 minutes gone, 10 minutes to go. Owen Farrell is beaten. Here comes Brian McAvoy. Hops off Kieran Phelan. Ball breaks out. And it's gone to the right and gone wide. 2-8 to 1-9. Tommy Fogarty knew he should have done better with that. Gordon Crowd getting behind their team. Nemo Connor broke that ball down and runs after it. Jim McDermott is fouled. Gordon win the free. DJ comes out to take it. 65 metres out from the goal. Tom Carroll, one of the committee men down in Gordon, walks off the field. Involved in the horse racing in a big way down there as well. So 65 metres out, about three metres in, four metres in from the sideline. DJ Carey with this free. 
sends it in, it's gone in, and it's gone to the left, and oh no, it's gone over the bar. Just crept inside the left hand post. A point that Gordon badly needed. So a goal between the teams once again, 2 9 to 1 9. Up goes Peter Barry. Owen Farrell comes away with the ball. Here's DJ coming out the field now to get that ball. Hopefully Larkin did well. Ball has gone over the sideline, sideline ball for Gordon. Hopefully did very well there to block DJ down. This game every bit as good and exciting as the first game. Tass Farrell with the sideline ball for Gordon. He needs to send this way in now, so he does. And he does well. Charlie comes to meet it. Jim McDermott had the ball but lost it. Billy O'Brien's shot is blocked down by Dick Carroll. O'Brien gets this at a second attempt. Brian McAvoy trying to add to it. Here's Pat O'Neill. Good shot by O'Neill. Tass Farrell in space. Trying to get around Vinnie O'Brien. Keeps the ball in play off of Vinnie O'Brien. Tommy Fogarty as there is it back to Vinnie O'Brien. Brian McAvoy along the ground. Liam Smith and Brian Farrell Smith is beaten by Farrell. Jim McDermott comes up, Jim Fisher comes up with the ball, DJ and Philly. DJ has the ball, DJ shakes off two tackles, walks into a scoring position, sends the ball in. Weak enough shot, Francis Cantwell has no trouble in saving. Here's the ball out. John Grace for the village on the ground, the ball knocked away from him. Breaks back to Peter Barry to Liam O'Connor and passes it forward. Liam Smith can't get onto a penalty, breaks it out. Martin Fielder, number seven. Tass Farrell, ball comes back. To Tommy Fogarty, beaten by Dick Carroll. DJ Carroll, here's DJ, Philly is facing him. DJ Sway is blocked, over carrying a free out. Crowd don't like it, that's what the referee saw. Philly Larkin doing well. He's holding up DJ's progress. Francis Cantu with a free. Three points between the teams. Six minutes exactly to go. Six minutes to go. Ball drops inside. Brian McAvoy has a goal! Pat Farrell and Martin Carey got caught in a tangle. Brian McAvoy, number nine, pulled on the ball and the ball went into the back of the net. Sub on the Gordon team, number 20 has come in. Oliver Carty is on. Dick Carroll is going off. Oliver Carroll, number 20, on the Gordon team. Oliver Carter then on. And the sides are level. And we have to decide this game here today. Here come Gordon once again. Ball breaks inside, Charlie was left behind to buy a spot. Can't get that ball up, he has it now. Malcolm Murphy helps. Back to Philly Larkin. Here's to this side of the field. Liam Smith. Brian Farrell did well. Jack Carey. Jack Carey on a good run for Gordon. And pass the ball inside all. DJ flicks inside to Charlie Carter. Back goes Shane Dyle, Tobias White on the ground. Hand passes the ball out to Vinny O'Brien. Great excitement here. Vinny O'Brien clears that ball up. John Grace comes out, the ball knocked away to Liam O'Connor. A shot from Liam O'Connor blocked down to Jim McDermott. Oh, shorts his ball. Peter Barry. Still Peter Barry going across the field, driving into Brian Lahey. Goes past him, back goes Pat Farrell. Pat Farrell for Gordon. Oh, only to Brian McAvoy. Brian McAvoy, a good chance, well hooked by Owen Farrell. Ball breaks into the centre. Pat Dre. Dre knocks it away over the sideline. Four minutes left, the size 11. 
So four minutes to decide the game. Village mentors over on the sideline there. They've done well again at half time today. They've brought their team back into this game in the second half. Here's Peter Barry. Along the ground and cut out. Cleared up the field. Tobias Wise broke it down, didn't know where the ball was. Tobias White comes away with the ball. Knocked away from him. Oliver Carter is 20. He's on the ground. The referee blows. Point to throw the ball in. Nobody leaving Nolan Park today. Brian Cody being told to go off the pitch on the far side. Well, you can't help but get involved and wrapped up in this game. It's really exciting stuff. Ball goes in. DJ nips in. Drive the ball inside. Oliver Carter. 45 metres out. Send the ball to Charlie. Here's Charlie. DJ inside. Jack Carey. Here's Jack. Oh, no! put that ball into the back of the net from the pass from Charlie Carter the ball broke inside and Jack was on it and put the ball into the back of the net Gordon a goal ahead two minutes plus to go the ball has gone over the sideline sideline ball for James Stevens. Philly Larkin moving up the field for James Stevens. they're a goal behind there's two minutes to go Peter Barry with a sideline ball. Ball knocked out by Owen Farrell. Jim Fitzgerald clears it up the field. Back goes to buy a swipe for the village. Can't get that ball up. Oliver Carter pushes him in the back. Free for James Stevens. The players can't even hear the, the whistle. Great excitement here. I don't know what's going to happen if Gordon win this match. But they haven't won it yet. One minute, one minute plus injury time left. Francis Cantwell with the free. His team are a goal behind. Here comes the free. It's a good one. It's gone in. Martin Carey lets it go. For a 65. It must have glanced off his hand. Pat O'Neill is discussing it with the umpire. This one will have to be dropped in, I think. Richie Minogue is the man taking it. Half a minute, he drops a shot. Jim McDermott up to Charlie Carter. Charlie is inside. Back goes Shane Dyle. Shane Dyle did well. Charlie has it. Charlie has time on his side. A shot from Charlie Carter. It's gone right. It's gone wide. We're gone into injury time. Gordon are a goal ahead. We will have a little bit of injury time. Philly Larkin up the field now. Ball broken away and it comes to Jim McDermott. McDermott for Gordon. Jim Fitzgerald did well to hold it up. Out comes Malcolm Murphy. Malcolm Murphy trying to get the village on the attack. Back to Martin Feeling. Martin Feeling up the field. The Gordon supporters want the whistle. Liam O'Connor breaks it down. John Grace knew where the ball was. Brian Farrell trying to get, tries to get it away. Out comes to Liam Smith. Liam Smith shot is short. DJ is back in the back. Liam O'Connor. Liam O'Connor for the village. A shot from O'Connor, a pint, a pint for O'Connor and the village. Two pints between the teams. It's all over. And Gordon have won their first ever senior hurling title in Kilkenny. Three goals and nine pints to two goals and ten pints. And the Gordon supporters have gone mad and quite rightly so. Two 